Good evening, hyperspinners. Today I'm going to show you how to set up RCPS3 on your hyperspin setup, so get ready. All right, guys, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go to rpcs3.net slash download. And this emulator is uh, still very much in production. Uh, they are pumping out uh, updates left and right here, guys. So uh, I'm actually two versions behind here, uh, which is nothing because they're literally updating this so often. So uh, what you're going to do is just go to this download page and you are going to click download for Windows. And once you've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a folder in your Hyperspin root folder under the emulators folder. I've labeled it as RPCS3. And what you're gonna do is unzip those files here. And once you've done that, uh, one thing that we're gonna keep in note here is uh, you will have to find the, the games and uh, uh, the, they're ripped uh, essentially. And what we're going to do is we're going to find them in your dev underscore HDDO folder. You're going to find them in your game folder. And then the name of the game is, uh, you know, here. And you'll find the actual code uh, for that game, uh, you know, uh, on the download when you end up finding it. So just kind of keep that in mind uh, that the, the name is actually a number essentially. Uh, and you'll be good to go. I mean, it'll it'll do everything for you automatically. So you just got to find your game and drop it in that dev HDDO folder under the game folder. And yeah, that's all that's all there is to it. There, uh, I'll show you how to add that game to your Hyperspin setup in a little bit. But first, we're gonna open up RPCS3, and we're going to open that up now and there is one thing that you've got to do before the actual games uh, will run and that is install the uh, ps3 firmware and what you'll see is in this quick start guide we'll tell you how to do it i'm not going to actually uh, do it here because uh, you know it tells you right here but you'll have to go to the the site uh, here and then you're going to install the firmware uh, and once you've done that you'll first download the firmware from this site here and you'll drop this file here in your rpcs3 it's going to look like that and what you'll do is when you open up rpcs3 uh, you're going to go to file you're going to say install firmware and then you're going to choose that file the uh the pup file and once you've done that it's going to tell you, uh, well, it's going to load and then like 10 windows will show up and you'll see loading bars left and right. It'll take a minute or two to actually uh, install all that. But once you've done that, you'll never have to do it again. And then you'll be ready to uh, run your game. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go uh, straight to the configuration so you can mask or mirror what I've got here. And uh, here we go. So we're going to go to configurations, CPU, and this is what I've got. Uh, and your system will be different depending on your uh, your CPU and your graphics card. But this is uh, what I found uh, pretty standard. I, I don't think I've done any sort of major tweaking for this thing to, to run. So I've got fast, fast on both of those. I've got load only, and then I've got three of these checked, the scheduler, the enable, loop and the cache so everything else uh oh, actually i'm pretty sure all that was default next we're going to go to gpu whenever possible with these new emulators you're going to want to use the vulcan uh, selection here and graphics device so that's just whatever you've got and uh, aspect ratio you're going to want to use 16 uh, in terms of everything else on the additional settings you're going to want to make sure everything is uh, 
unchecked. You can set up um, settings for these individual games um, to kind of tinker through this, but uh, it is best to just kind of leave these uh, by default and uh, you know just keep getting those updates because this uh, emulator is pumping out updates like crazy. Next, we got audio. You're gonna select your audio and I'm pretty sure those are default as well. The IO, all that was default. System, that was all default. Network, okay, the emulator, I feel like I've done some updates here. So uh, you wanna make sure all these are checked with the exception of start games in full screen mode. Um, that actually might solve an issue. I might, uh, I'm gonna try that, the start games in full screen mode because the auto hotkey that I've got uh, is launching correctly. It's just, uh, it virtually opens in almost in uh, full screen mode. And actually that might fix my issue. So I'm glad I'm doing this tutorial guys. Uh, th this is helping me out as well. So this is, uh, this is good. Uh, make sure that that start games is in full screen mode. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep on going. And let's see, all that was default. So once you've done that, hit save in the bottom left corner. And then we'll go down to, uh, yeah, GPU, we've already done that with the pads. Go into configuration pads. Okay, so here we go. So we're setting up your uh, controls here. And if you use uh, Joy2 key, definitely um, make sure that your uh, controls are matching that. So first you're gonna to go to keyboard up here at the top and you're going to set up all your controls. You're gonna push the button and then push the keystroke. So you've got everything uh, matching up with your controls uh, in general. You just go through, click these and uh, click your uh, keyboard. Uh, you know, if you're wanting to use, you know, uh, an actual controller and you don't wanna mess with the keyboard, yeah, select uh, X input. So you're gonna set player one and player two up and yeah, that's all I've got set up. So I'm gonna close out of that. You're gonna hit save at the bottom left. And that is it on the configuration, guys. So I'm gonna just double check here. Yep, that's all. We've already talked through all those. So the configuration is pretty easy here, guys. The hardest part is just finding that firmware and then installing it using that file install firmware. And it just takes a minute or two and the loading goes crazy, but it is worth it at the end, guys. So all your games will show up below there. And yeah, that's all there is to it. You'll just, uh, you know, click it and then start and everything will work. So that is pretty good. So now the, the hard part, getting this thing to run into hyperspin. It's actually not too bad here, guys. So uh, one thing to keep in mind, um, when you have a game, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a bat file which you can easily do by right clicking new and then say text file. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is when you're in that text file, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is a uh, pretty streamlined here. So you're gonna type in rpcs3.exe and then space and you'll put in quotations, uh, your, well, a start quote. You don't actually have an end quote. Um, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, it's, wait, what am I talking about? I, I know that's right. So you're gonna have one uh, single quote and then you're gonna put the path uh, to your game. And this is all gonna be standard here. They're always gonna go into your RPCS3 and the HDDO uh, folder. And then there's a disk folder. And then the name of that, um, that game will show up here and You'll want to put the uh, the number that it's associated to, and you'll find that in your download of your game. And then I, I put a description in there as well. So I put hyphen and then the name. And within every one of these games that you end up getting, there's a PS3 underscore game folder, a user folder, or sorry, user directory, and then the eboot.bin. So you want to basically launch this eboot dot bin for each one of these games. So once you've uh, hit file, save as, you're gonna have an, uh, 
a text file and what you're going to do is just right click you'll click rename and you'll change that extension that txt to bat so it's uh, a bat file and hyperspin is going to look for that bat file and that's how it's going to run your uh, your game uh, instantly from uh, hyperspin so that's all we got to do here in the rpcs3 folder so i'm going to go ahead and minimize that and now we're going to go to hyperspin's root folder so uh, as I mentioned, these are gonna be launched as if they were PC games because we're essentially calling the bat file. So go ahead and go to your uh, rocket launcher folder, which is, uh, for me, it's in my root hyperspin folder. Go to modules, PC launcher, and under PC launcher auto hotkey, you're gonna double click that. You're gonna notice in this M systems, this is what's gonna display for whenever you select a uh, PC launcher. The, this is what is gonna be allowed to be used um, on the systems for PC launcher. So you can see that I've added a, a number of systems that um, can use this PC launcher auto hotkey. So I've added uh, the system here and I've got it in quotations. And I, I might include this auto hotkey just so you guys have it as an example. And I'll, I'll put it in the same structure of the folder um, integrity that I've got here on my mega site. So you've got it available uh, to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that down since that is there. Uh, that is important to have here, guys. So next we are going to go to uh, HyperHQ because what we want are the folders for the system. So we have the media folders and such. So pull up HyperHQ, go to main menu wizard, hit the plus sign and type in uh, Sony PlayStation 3. And once you've done that, let's uh, scroll down here and try to find this guy here. So it's gonna be capital S, capital P and three, Sony PlayStation 3. So you can see there's nothing in my emulator folder. I've got HyperLaunch XE, Sony PlayStation 3 and ROM name at the bottom here in the command line. I've got everything set to disable here. So I've set the wheels uh, to mirror all of the other systems that I have because I've custom tailored uh, that. Also themes, I always animate the default themes. I reload the uh, themes as well. And then I've got re uh, wheels only here. And that is it, guys. Uh, special artwork, same gig. Uh, I've got that uh, custom, so I've got that all in my uh, right locations. Uh, so yeah, it, that's all there is to it with uh, Hyper HQ. So now, last but not least, we've got Rocket Launcher. And since we've already set up PC Launcher uh, in a later or a previous video, under the global settings, we've got PC Launcher. Uh, scroll down here so you can see there's nothing already uh, you know here other than the module itself pc launcher auto hotkey you're finding that in the rocket launcher modules pc launcher and that is it on the uh, global settings um, I, I guess we can look at the settings tab as well but that you know we're talking global settings check out my rocket launcher uh, installation uh, video if you want more details here but you are good to go here and we are going to go to the system you're going to see in the settings tab i've got everything set to use global and we've got skip checks as false and then emulator we've got default emulator set to pc launcher because that now has uh, shown up and the uh, game path, what we're gonna do is we are gonna point this to the uh, RPCS3 dev HDDO slash game folder. And that is going to uh, be looking for your games there. Uh, but we're not quite done yet, guys. So we're gonna go to the module tab, which uh, we don't do very often. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click PC launcher. We're gonna click the edit module uh, settings, which is uh, here. 
And then what you're going to do is you're going to find your games here by pushing the plus sign. And once you've done that, you're going to select the game that you just selected here. And you're going to go to application and you're going to find that bat file that we had previously created. You're going to go um, to the RPCS3 folder. You're going to find that bat file. You're just going to point that to that by pressing the magnifying glass. You'll do that for each one of the games. And you can see there's nothing else that I've got in here. So we're literally just calling that bat file and it runs great. So um, that's it guys. And uh, something that I've, I've noticed that, you know, when it launches, it doesn't always launch full screen. So I just do an alt tab to do the full screen. But I think what I just showed you guys in the settings launching uh, as full screen might actually fix that issue. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so there's a couple other things that I want to show you. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to, let's see, hyperlist. So we're going to try to get the database here. And I, I can't remember if they've actually got this up yet on Hyperspin or not. Uh, so we're going to scroll down here. Yeah, they don't here. So what I've been doing is I've just been creating my own database as I go. And uh, what we're going to do, if you go to the database folder, you're going to find that system uh, that we just had set up. So Hyperspin databases. And what I might do is just include this in the uh, Mega as an example, but this is just a standard database. As it goes, you want the game name to be the, uh, the folder name of that game that, uh, you know, that bat file is uh, calling. And then the description is what you're gonna display in Hyperspin. And that's it, guys. So uh, it's one of the more tricky systems to set up. It's kind of hacky, if you will, but it gets the job done. It works good and the emulator is always improving. So it's only gonna get better, guys. So that's it, guys. Um, one thing to note is the letters, like if you're trying to letter jump, Hyperspin requires you to have, I think it's 24 games before that letter jump will actually display. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you've only got a few games, that letter jump's not actually gonna work uh, when you go left or right. Um, so what else? I think that's it. In terms of the media itself, uh, you will have to uh, resort to creativity and uh, you know just because there's not a lot of media out there uh, because it's so new here so the images you know I, I basically created myself and uh, you know use that border wheel and uh, yeah the, the name uh, convention uh, just like what we talked about before I try to put the description in there as well. It looks like I have failed to do that once or twice. Um, same with the themes. Um, there's mostly uh, global uh, themes here because it is so new. And then the videos, you can download trailers from uh, YouTube essentially. So uh, that's it guys. Um, I, oh, well, since we're talking about themes here, let me get the, uh, the Hyperspin themes going here. And I'll put all these links in the description below. All right, so we are going to go to Hyperspin. We're going to go to the uh, download section and we're going to go to the uh, PS3. So looks like we've only got the main menu themes. I do have a custom pointer. Uh, like always, I was kind of big into pointers uh, when I was setting this up. So uh, there's always a custom pointer. Um, I will be releasing uh, media as we go on subscribes and uh yeah so that is uh ps3 guys i hope that helps you and uh we'll catch you next time all right bye